Chapter 4 Electrochemistry. This is the subtopic in electrochemistry, electropotential and electrochemical cells, Nernst equation, and electrolysis. This is the lesson outcomes. Introduction Electrochemistry, a study of the interconversion electricity and chemical reactions or energy. Electrochemical cell, a cell consisting of electrodes that dip into electrolytes. Electrodes, solid conductors that allows electrons to pass through them. For example, platinum and graphite. Electrolytes, compounds that conduct electric currents either in the molten state or aqueous solution, such as ionic compounds. Oxidation reduction reactions, or we call as redox reactions, involve two processes. First, oxidation, loss of electrons from one rectum. So when we look at this, half equation for the sodium, so, for the sodium, is loss of electrons from one reactant, and for the reduction, gain of electrons from another reactant. So, look at the chlorine gas, gain two electrons and produce the chloride ion. So, this is we call as the reduction, half reactions, because the reductions again of electrons so the electron here in the rectum so for the oxidation the electron in the product because loss of electron so this is the overall or net reactions for this process oxidation and reductions always occur together can have one without the other when we look at this why two na or two sodium because we look at the electron one electron here and this is two electrons when you want to total up of this two process so make sure the electron are same meaning that these two electron and this is also two electrons when we look at the oxidation reduction reactions for oxidizing agent, this is the reduction. Substance that accepts the electrons, takes electrons from another substance, is itself reduced. Electron acceptor, so this is the reduction. So the reduction is oxidizing agent. For oxidation, is reducing agent substance that donate electrons or lose electron release electrons to another substance is itself oxidized so this is the electron donor when you look at the sodium sodium lose the electron and for the chlorine gain electron so oxidizing agent is the cl2 and for the reducing agent is the na sodium when you look at the spontaneous redox reaction, when a copper wire is placed in a solution of silver nitride, silver metal spontaneously precipitates. Copper iron spontaneously forms as evidenced by blue color of solution. So this is the example. Spontaneous redox reactions. So this is the redox half reactions, anode, loss of electron, and cathode, gain of electrons. And this is the overall reaction, when anode and cathode will total up of these two process. And this is how you write the standard cell notation. So this is how the electron flow from Anod to cathode. Silver metal placed in a solution of 
silver nitride. And for the copper metal, place in solution of copper to nitride. Each compartment is called a half cell. This is the cell notation. How you write the cell of notation? So look at this. On your left side is anode. So this is the anode electrode, copper. And copper 2 is an oxidation electrolyte. Okay, for the copper 2 ion here. And this is the salt bridge. When it has the double slash, meaning that it represents salt bridge. For the single slash, it represents a phase boundary. Solid electrode and solution. And on your right side is cathode. When you look at this, this is the reduction electrolytes and silver here is the cathode electrode where there are no conductive metals involved in a process an inert electrode is used such as carbon graphite or platinum are often used so this is how you write the standard cell notation for the reactions this is for the platinum electrodes and graphite electrodes for the carbon. Half cells when metal ion collides with electrode and gains electrons, ion becomes reduced. If metal atom on surface of electrode lose electrons become oxidized. So this is the oxidizing agent. And this is the reducing agent. Summary of a galvanic cell. Electrodes provide a site for electron transfer. Wire connecting two half cells conducts electron from anode to cathode. So it is how the electron flow from anode to cathode. Flow of ions from salt bridge maintains electrical neutrality. This is the salt bridge. Electron flow between half cells this is at a copper electrode and this is at a silver. What happens to the charge in each half cell? Each time a copper atom reacts Net charge at copper N increase by 2. Net charge at silver N decrease by 2. Look at this. This is the two electrons. And this is also some two electrons. This would violate the principle of electrical neutrality. Cannot have solution with a net charge. We need to balance the charge in order for the electrons to flow. Salt bridge needed to complete circuit to fill with a car saturated with an electrolyte salt composed of ions not involved in cell reaction. Potassium nitride and potassium chloride often used as salt bridge. Naval ions from salt bridge to migrate between half cells to neutralize charge in cell compartments. And ions always migrate toward anode, cations always migrate toward cathode. Electrolytic versus galvanic cells. For electrolytic cells is non-spontaneous, whereas galvanic cells is spontaneous. In both galvanic and electrolytic cells, positive ions move to cathode and negative ions move to anode. This is also the example voltaic cell versus electrolytic cell. 
cell potential, electrons in different metals have different potential energy. The potential difference is termed cell potential. The maximum potential difference across a cell is its electromotive force EMF. A cell potential is cell the sum of electrode potential of the two cells making up the electrochemical cell. The unit is full. Electrode potential is a measure of the half cell to attract electrons. The more positive the half cell's electrode potential, the stronger is its attraction for electrons, such as a tenyl cell. The electrode potential of copper is more positive than zinc since the electrons flowing from zinc electrode to copper electrode. Electrical potential Every half cell has tendency to gain electrons and proceed as reduction half reaction. Reduction potential Relative ease of gaining electrons Standards reduction potential, reduction potential measured under standard conditions. We will continue the standard cell potential E cell in electrochemistry part 2.